Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 3 with me, Break It Down. Let's head to the Drowned Temple. What the tomes say of Alaric and this temple is not encouraging. You must be Alaric the Guardian. Uncle Deckard told me of your eternal watch over this cursed place. I thought it was a myth. Are you Nephilim? No. There have been no Nephilim for a millennium. <laughs> Yet another myth. You seek entrance to this temple, but only a Nephilim can enter. If you retrieve the keys from the outlying tombs and use them on the gates, we will see who and what you truly are. Follow me. I will raise the bridge that you may pass. Seek two tombs in the woods beyond. The warriors rest and the crypt of the ancients. Within them reside the keys to our sacred temple. That sounds easy enough. Just another fetch quest. A pall of ancient doom hangs upon these woods. Are these Alaric's people? No. Ghouls are stronger than most risen dead, but they gain their fortitude through horrific means, feasting upon human corpses. These creatures are least dangerous while eating, but do not disturb- Uncle Deckard called these flying creatures death with wings. Thank you for interrupting, Leah. For that little bit of trivia. Was invigorating. I enjoyed that. Downgrade for everybody. I've decided I'm actually going to explore each area as thoroughly as I was. Uh, if we find the journal entries, great. If not, it's whatever. It, it just doesn't feel rewarding to explore it when you know when you log back in, you lose it. <laughs> so, we're just going to focus on completing the amazing. objectives. It reminds me of being a child and searching for lost artifacts with Uncle Decker. I thought that was refilled the dungeon with enemies. Had enough. We were so sure we could beat whatever traps the ancients had laid for tomb robbers, but the dead bodies of my friends testify to the folly of our arrogance. I will be dead soon as well. 
Our greed was our downfall. When this is over, I could open my own little inn somewhere. If I live. Hmm. Sounds peaceful. Well, if you ever want a job, I will consider your credentials. <laughs> I have answered my call, but I thank you. So this crusader is always on the phone. All he talks about is answering his call. Oh no you don't! New passive, we have Lord Commander. The cooldown of Steed Charge is reduced by 25% and bombardment by 35%. Damage dealt by Phalanx increased by 20%. At Blessed Hammer, we have Limitless. Increase the damage and area effect of Blessed Hammer. Give that a shot. And Phalanx, we now have Shield Charge. If summon avatars, charge the target and perform a shield bash, damaging the enemies at that location. Uh, we could try this for a little bit. Instead of provoke. Try the bowman and then the other one. Uh, steed charge was... Oh, same one. So normally you'd have to choose, but since we have the one setting... ...active, we can put whatever, you know, skills wherever we want. That's worth it. What do we have equipped? Oh, we don't have bombardment yet. That's a level 61. Uh, maybe I'll get back to something else. No, I still think this is better. With Holy Cause. <laughs> what? What the heck was that? Bowmen follow you. For some reason, I assume that they didn't. That they just, they'd be stationary. Not that it really matters. I spent years exploring places like this with Uncle Deckard. This brings back memories. I too enjoy hunting evil creatures through strange new lands. I was talking about happy memories. As was I. Good choice. There's a end. 
an event here. I don't know if it's guaranteed to spot or not. I think it's one of the neater ones. I'm trying to find it. Uh, guaranteed spawn brothels and ale even so it was full of trade and new ideas there was always something exciting to see So it looks like it's not going to show up here. It's a, it's an event where you relive an old battle, and you just, you hold against hordes of enemies on this little hilltop. I always thought it was really neat. I swore it's popped up every time I've come through here, so I always assumed it was a, a guaranteed spawn. Unfortunately, not the case. You have a choice, buddy. Alaric says that our people can survive the coming battle, but I saw the truth in his eyes. Why did he order me to guard the beacon of honor? Those shambling things are slaughtering my people in the forest above, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. I do want to try out this other phalanx skill, uh, shield charge. Oh, no cooldown either. I used to love traveling, seeing the world. Well, I've traveled my whole life and watched the world change. Yes, it's not like it was. Have no fear, Leah. We will make this world safe again. Yes, that's one thing I like in this game is the interactions between the characters. It's possible not to see all of them in a single playthrough. The temple is open. Enter. And defeat the Guardians within. Although they are my brothers, they will seek your death when you enter. I cannot fault them for doing their duty. 
Look at this architecture. This predates the Sin War. Blessings of the light. So this is actually a good grinding spot for the transmogs. At one point, I went through and I was trying to collect all the, all the transmogs. None may enter the inner sanctum. Especially the rare ones. Rise, my brothers! Rise and do battle! I need healing! Got a little close. Just the thing. stone has been changed. Our children are born weak and suffer short lives. The demon Nereza promised to restore their power, but instead turned them into misshapen creatures and sent them to war against us. We may die, but not before she is sent back to the burning hells. So we did level up again. Uh, an upgrade for Fist of the Heavens. Heaven's Tempest. So in a fiery storm over the targeted area that damages enemies who pass underneath it. The charge upgrade. Rejuvenation. While riding the warhorse, you recover life. Heaven's Fury. Ascendancy. The ray of holy power grows in size, damaging a greater number of enemies. Leah, tell me more about your inn. The world is so dangerous. Everybody needs a quiet, safe place to rest and recover. A way station on their journeys. You will make a fine innkeeper. If I survive this mess. Your strength rivals that of our greatest champions. What now do you think you are? You may enter our most sacred place. The spirit speaks the truth. This was a good place. I can feel it. The noble hero fought his way here just to die. <laughs> I admire your persistence. And who is this you bring with you? Adria's daughter? She has power within her. No matter. Your mother will soon share your fate, little one. The shard is mine. Fill this temple with their blood. What did she mean my mother will share my fate? Could my mother be alive after all these years? Time will tell. And what is the power within you that she spoke of? This fight was too easy. She is toying with us. We must get back to Uncle Deckard right away. Right. Terrible piece of equipment. I need to go back. Sorry if things got a little funky there. I had to minimize the game real quick to see how long I've been recording for. The Unrepentant Rogue. You spend quite a lot of time chasing women. We only have so many days in this world, and I choose to spend mine in worthy pursuits. I'm not sure you think very much of the women you... pursue. I've only found one worth keeping. But she slipped away from me. Ah, what did you do wrong? I'd rather talk about the ones I caught and didn't want. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Lead the way to glory. Right, uh, the World Stone. 
The world stone was an ancient artifact of immense power. It was used not only to create our world, but also to control mankind. The original humans were known as the Nephilim, and their power was such that it was feared they would tip the balance in the eternal conflict between the high heavens and the burning hells. So the world stone was tuned to lessen our powers, turning mankind into what we are today. But now that it has been destroyed, it is conceivable that the powers of the Nephilim will reappear. A destruction of the world stone. Tyriel was forced to destroy the world stone when Baal, the Lord of Destruction, corrupted it in his attempt to control all of mankind. Hmm. Unfortunate. It obliterated Mount Ariat, the mountain that housed it, leaving only a smoking crater in its place. And nothing has been heard from Tyriel since. Leah and Kane's travels. You raised Leah during your travels, but the road is a dangerous place for a child. Not as dangerous as you might think. There was a calm about the world then. Most people paid no mind to an old man and young girl, weaponless and penniless, crossing their lands. Leah's childhood. Uncle Deckard and I traveled all over the world in my youth, looking for lost lore and artifacts. It was so exciting, crawling around ancient temples, digging through forgotten crypts. I feel fortunate that Uncle Deckard raised me the way he did, the things I learned from him. But now I... I don't know. I see what his obsession with his quest has cost him, has cost us. About the temple. The Drowned Temple was once known as the Sarcium Emporis. It was the most sacred of their temples, a site where legend claims angels would come to impart their wisdom to the Nephilim. Adric's father. You spoke of Chaldeum. You lived there with your father? Yes. He was a diplomat. We had a manor with servants and terraces, all of that. Everything changed when the trouble started. Somehow, rumors spread that my grandfather was responsible for the king's madness. My father's work fell apart. No one would speak to him. He kept believing it would blow over, though. That is not the way of the world. No. I'd rather not talk about it now, if you don't mind. I've work to see to. I've got some. Got a right good bunch of things for you this fine day. Here, the second piece of the sword. Magda now seeks the third. I remember a glow streaking towards a fishing village. The only fishing village near here is Wortham. You're right, Leah. It must be Wortham. There is a ferry on the edge of Tristram that will take you there. Mysterious Coven. Tell me of this coven. I have no memory of them. Except a feeling, a darkness, that is known to me. Known to you? The coven may be part of a greater evil. Perhaps I intended to fight it. You'll need your sword. Master Decker Kane has now transitioned inside of his home. Here he'll be safer there. When we retrieved the stranger's second sword piece, Magda found us. She's always on our heels. Who is she? She claims to know my mother, but how could that be? Regardless, we must beat her to Wortham in the final piece of the sword. I really do miss that bard. The way he sang Bard Token Horizon could make a bad man weep and turn his life around. You're always on about the bard. Tell you what, why don't you learn to sing for us instead of complaining all day? Well, I'm more of a patron of the arts than an artist. That, and you have a voice like a wounded quill beast. 
True. I have some. I suppose business will pick Wife. up. Wife, don't think I don't see you undressing our fine hero with your treacherous eyes. I would look at you instead had you a weapon like that. <laughs> That's another thing I think kind of undermines the atmosphere of the Diablo games, all the humor in this game. Dark visions. Vile things transpire even as we speak. I see a town in flames and an old friend paying the ultimate price to reveal the truth. I already know this. Oh, do you have the sight as well? Well, no, I... Uh, never mind. Very beaten the game. <laughs> That's how we know. I can see the fires even from here. Where them burns. <sighs> it is only the truly evil who force the innocents to suffer for a battle they have no part in. Wortham, please. I will take you, but beware. Smoke rises from the village. They're destroying the town. Get out while you can! Fire! Death to those! You let them finish their fit, Senate. Where is Magda? Please! My family's hiding in the chapel with the rest of the townsfolk. We must get to them! Don't run off! You'll get yourself killed! Fools! You cannot keep the sword from me! This is bad. My servants will burn this town to ashes! Here's something coming. Heal me. Panics and pressed uh, one, trying to activate a potion. You saved us. We owe you our lives. That's what I do. Uh, I'm gonna change one of my skills around, I think. So I think I'll keep Shield Glare, but use. Oh, Condemn or Phalanx? I think the cooldown's too long for that one. I don't like the way that scoundrel looks at Leah. I won't let anything happen to her. Of course not. We are honorable warriors, you and I. I seek the hilt of a sword. It fell from the sky. Have you seen it? We found it days ago. I wish we'd never brought it here. Come, I left Virgil to guard it. We will be glad to be rid of it. I'm going back to Tristram to check on Uncle Deckard. Oh, Virgil didn't make it. It's gone. While you were on your hero's errand here, I captured all three sword pieces and your friends. I should have known. I must get back to Kane's house.
It's your choice, Cain. Either use your Herodric arts to repair the sword, or your dear Leah dies a horrible death. Oh, this pain, this destruction. What is the sword to you? To me, nothing. To my master, Belial, everything. <laughs> Your rage is overwhelming, girl. You win this round, but if the sword cannot be mine, I'll claim the one it's bound to. In the end, the blade shall be mine. Uncle, you can't die. Nothing can stop that now. But there is one last thing I must do. The sword must be made whole. Just as I suspected, the sword is of the high heavens. The stranger is an angel. Heed the journal. The truth lies within. Uncle ah. Deckard! Alright, and there's one of the uh, biggest complaints about the story in Diablo 3. This is not a time for mourning. This is a time to dry our tears and draw our weapons. There can be no pity for the pitiless, save redemption for those that seek it. Decker Kane is killed by not even one of the main antagonists of the game. I mean, she is an act boss, but it's not one of the lesser evils or even a prime evil that killed him. It was just a, a butterfly lady. <laughs> a lot of people are not a huge fan of that. I understand they're probably going for a more realistic approach. Decker Kane being an old man. Wouldn't have much of a shot against, you know, one of the other lesser primevals. But it was even like a, it was a throwaway death at that. Like, she didn't even target him. He captured the stranger and left. It's just a little disappointing. But I get it. Sanctuary is a dark place. It's grim dark. It's not meant to be happy. You know, people don't have happy endings, but they could have done more. And there's some plot elements later on that I think could have tied into his death a little better. Than what they did here but that's neither here nor there uh let's go speak to leah and then we'll wrap up the episode if only i could control this power i could have saved him i'm sorry leah it is hard to see someone so close fall i will go after magda magda and her master belial the journal speaks of an angel falling from the heavens as the shadow rises from the abyss the stranger is the key to all of this. We must bring him the sword, so that he can fight at our side. When my power erupted, I saw into Magda's mind for an instant. She's fled to the Highlands. You can reach them through the caves above Wortham. You have to know, she'll be waiting for you. She won't have to wait long. Alright, I'm calling it here. Uh, next time we'll speak to everybody, now that we've progressed the story a little bit. And pursue Magda. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.